Hey everybody, this is Brain Slurpee, and today I'm going to show you the castle that I built. Uh, this castle was made before Hearth and Home came out, so it's lacking a lot of decoration that uh, is accessible and available to you builders out there now. Um, at some point I might go back through and redecorate it and add some flair, but for now, uh, structurally, I feel like it's a pretty big build. So here's like the main entrance uh, to the castle. We'll just go in some embellishment with wood frames and whatnot on the outside. A little cart section. Some more embellishment in there. We'll go. That's a guard tower and a wolf pit. We'll go in there later. This is the uh, kind of main entrance here. This is just a hallway to the side that leads up to the main hall. Uh, and here's a storage room. Crates up there, little portal action. More storage. Um, over here you can see the wolf. Feed the wolves exhibit. Little uh, deal here. So uh, I got rid of the wolves because they wouldn't stop howling, but um, it's actually pretty cool. You can put some tame wolves in here put some meat up on the uh, wooden thing there and you just push it out to the wolves <laughs> little side hallway here nothing too special that wood out of my wall. Okay. So we'll go back this way. Now, moving into the uh, Great Hall entrance. Plenty of room here to uh, feed. Again, before Hearth and Home and, and now Mistland. So I know there's some really long tables that would look great in here. Um, a lot of different decorations that would look awesome, but just haven't got around to it. We got the uh, the hall decorated with uh, trophies, starting with the neck out here, and increasing in ferocity as you approach the thrones. Little throne area up here. That and behind the thrones is the Royal Chambers access stairway. Don't worry about that unless you want a good time. So go back here. Pretty much uh, symmetrical. This is to the level two. We'll go up to level three in a bit here. As you can see the uh, chambers. Great hall from above. Not much decoration over here. Some more tables, some windows. Uh, other side is basically just a path. Not in your room over there. Um, in the middle here, we've got some alcoves for some treasure and stuff. Nothing too crazy. Okay. And we're going to jump back down here for a sec. And so if we're at the great, great Hall entrance, turn around and this goes out to a courtyard here. A courtyard, a couple of flowers or whatever planted there, a bench to sit on. There's a little bar that's not finished. A bonfire section up here to chill. Up near the crenellations, got to have those of course. And you can see the guard tower going up there. So we'll hit the guard tower from the bottom real quick. And then go up to the royal chambers. So into the guard ta guard tower. Oh yeah, the wolf <laughs> the wolf enclosure here. First we'll do that. So inside here, you know, it's double gated for safety, of course. 
That's where you push the meat off with the door. Come out here, it goes down into this whole enclosure. For the living animals, and again, I used to have them out here and it was pretty cool, but they would not shut up. And uh, I'm aware there's a mod. It's called Better Wolves or something to handle that, I guess. Uh, I hadn't tried any mods before I found out about that. So maybe I'll re-implement the wolves here. We'll bring them back if we can get them to hush up a little bit. Um, so yeah, there's that. It's all fenced in. They can't go anywhere. All right, now onto the guard tower. Again, not very decorated. Could have done a lot more inside here. Um, really nothing going on on floor one. We've got the, um, the entrance to the guard the guard tower entrance on the side here. You see out from the main entrance. And the tower itself is rounded. That one took a while to do. Got a nice window overlooking some stuff down there. My inn, half done town, and you can't see it. There's a warehouse, a harbor warehouse out there. Um, back entrance kind of overlooks the wolf enclosure. And there's an entrance to the guard tower first floor. There's just, there's all kinds of tunnels and entrances to everything everywhere, basically. <laughs> but here we are back in the first floor guard tower. We'll go up second floor, little side entrance, side exit, whatever you want to call it. Some spears hanging out here. And this is the roof of the guard tower entrance. We'll go up here real quick. Uh, floor three. This one, we got a little more decorative in here. We got some crates. A little fire that's placed dangerously close to the wood and floor. Some beds for the guards place for them to eat and play cards. Again, here's the courtyard from the guardhouse. You go up to floor four here, which is basically the, the stone roof ending. I'm going to go up nothing fancy here, just up a bunch of stairs. Need some more floor and pillar and all that stuff storage area and we're up top here we got some brassiers hanging out there keeping it real and you can see the upper part of the castle which we haven't got to yet we're just gonna go right out there all right so now oh there's this little place here forgot about that little sewing place I don't know. Overlooks the courtyard. It's nice and pointed there. Kind of half circle deal. Uh, we got this stuff going on. This comes up. Now this, um, little servant area, little worker area, storage and stuff. Got a nice guest room here, overlooking the courtyard in parts of the kingdom. Nothing too fancy, just a little bedroom action. And on the outsides here, we've got the little servant quarters. That's all they need. A bed, a chest, one decoration, they don't even get a rug. We got one on the other side too. Same thing. All right. So we got some more uh, pathways along the outside here. And some entrances to where we came up. There. Those doors are not ideal. I have to change that. Kind of just block both pathways. It's, it's a lose-lose, but 
All right, master bedroom, royal chambers, whatever you want to call it here. We've got some decorated floor. Kind of did some weird stuff there. Similar to the thrones, you know, it's raised up. Over here, we've got the library, little bookcase. Not, not much of a library, but for Viking days, I'm sure it's pretty impressive. So there's all kinds of books in here, you know. took a while to, to get that set up. A uh, little fireplace, a little hearth action over there. It doesn't like to stay going due to the uh, the beams. Kind of cut off the airflow, but it works. Makes it kind of have a life of its own. It just turns off and on randomly at will. Uh, if we go through these doors on the back, it just takes you to, this was the level three I said. We'd go up to the royal chambers later. That's level three leading up. Um, so within here, there's one more thing to show in the bedroom. We've got this nice walk-in closet, got plenty of room to store all your furs and whatnot. Now on this side, it's closed off, uh, but if we go over here, we've got a little balcony action. You know, the king wants some fresh air. He's going to have it. And a little sneaky side passage in case any assassins need to make their way in for a covert mission. Finally. Might have been wondering what these stairs back here are leading up to. We got some more crates, just some place you could decorate and add storage. this up here this comes across the bedroom for the real view there it is we've got the town got the guard tower the castle and some other stuff so That's it. That's the castle there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of long. Thanks for sticking it through. And uh, stick around. I might add a shorter video showing off the warehouse, the inn, and honestly, one of my favorites here. This nice little vacation log cabin inn type deal which actually was made entirely with gathered materials. There was no cheating done on that. Lots of cheating done for the castle, which took thousands upon thousands of stone. So anyway, Brain Slippery out. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.